In 1966, Cast a Giant Shadow gathered a talented ensemble, with each actor's role thoughtfully considered. The film's protagonist, David Marcus, was portrayed by Kirk Douglas. Douglas, with his charisma and strong screen presence, was a natural choice for the lead. He brought depth to the complex character, a U.S. Army officer who becomes a key figure in Israel's fight for independence. The role of Colonel Mickey Marcus, David's Israeli counterpart, went to John Wayne. Despite his usual roles in westerns, Wayne's gravitas and screen authority made him a suitable fit for the part. His chemistry with Douglas added an interesting dynamic to their shared scenes. The casting of the female lead, Magda Simon, was given to Angie Dickinson. Her charm and acting skills were well suited for the role of the love interest and supportive character. Supporting roles included Frank Sinatra as General Mike Randolph. Known for his singing and acting career, Sinatra brought a level of recognition and talent that elevated the film. Casting for Cast a Giant Shadow also included several Israeli actors, such as Sentaberger as Emma Marcus and Topol as Vince Talpy. Their local knowledge and acting abilities contributed to the film's authenticity. The casting process for Cast a Giant Shadow combined star power with appropriate casting choices, ensuring a compelling and engaging film. The chemistry between the actors and their dedication to their roles created a memorable movie experience. Melville Shavelson, the director of Cast a Giant Shadow, brought the story to life with a vision that combined historical accuracy, drama, and humor. Shavelson's approach was influenced by his background in writing and directing comedy films, as well as his military service during World War II. This unique blend of experiences allowed him to create a film that was both entertaining and respectful of the subject matter. Shavelson's directing style was characterized by his attention to detail and his ability to elicit natural performances from his actors. He worked closely with the cast, including Kirk Douglas, John Wayne, and Frank Sinatra, to ensure that their portrayals were grounded in reality. Shavelson's collaborative approach extended to the crew as well, as he worked closely with the cinematographer, editor, and production designers to create a cohesive visual language for the film. The director's creative influences included epic films such as Lawrence of Arabia and The Ten Commandments, as well as the works of classic Hollywood directors like John Ford and Frank Capra. Shavelson drew upon these influences to create a film that was both visually striking and emotionally resonant. One of the most notable aspects of Cast a Giant Shadow is its portrayal of the complex political and military situation in Palestine during the 1940s. Shavelson approached this subject matter with sensitivity and nuance, avoiding easy answers or simplistic stereotypes. Instead, he presented a balanced view of the conflict, allowing the audience to draw their own conclusions. In terms of visual style, Shavelson favored a naturalistic approach, using location shooting and minimal special effects to create a sense of realism. He also employed a muted color palette, reflecting the desert landscapes of Palestine and the somber tone of the story. Overall, Shavelson's directorial vision for Cast a Giant Shadow was one of historical accuracy, emotional depth, and visual beauty. His ability to work collaboratively with his cast and crew, as well as his unique blend of creative influences, allowed him to create a film that continues to resonate with audiences today. Cast a Giant Shadow is a 1966 film that tells the story of an American officer who helps Israel during its fight for independence. It's a mix of action, drama, and history, showing how one person can make a big difference. The movie has moments that will make you laugh, surprise you, and maybe even make you sad. As you watch, think about this was there a scene that really stuck with you? Maybe it changed the way you see things or left a strong feeling. And we're curious about your own stories too. What's your favorite memory related to this movie? Share your experiences in the comments. We'd love to hear what this film means to you. The 1966 movie Cast a Giant Shadow was a large-scale production, with filming taking place in various locations to capture the essence of the story. The film is set in Palestine during the 1940s, and the production team went to great lengths to ensure accuracy and authenticity in the set design and locations. The film sets were meticulously designed to recreate the dusty, war-torn streets of Palestine. The production designers paid close attention to detail, from the crumbling buildings to the period-specific vehicles and props. The set of a Palestinian village was built in the desert near Caesarea, Israel, and the production team had to bring in sand and rocks to create the desired effect. The filming locations included Israel, Spain, and the United States. 
In Israel, the production team filmed in various locations, including Jerusalem, Jaffa, and the Negev Desert. The use of these real-world locations added to the film's authenticity and provided a stark contrast to the Hollywood-style sets. One of the logistical challenges of filming in Israel was the limited infrastructure for film production at the time. The production team had to bring in most of the necessary equipment and personnel from abroad. Additionally, the film's large cast and crew required a significant amount of coordination and planning to ensure a smooth production process. To overcome these challenges, the production team employed innovative techniques and technologies. For instance, they used a new type of lighting equipment that was more portable and energy efficient than traditional movie lights. This allowed them to film in remote locations without the need for generators or other bulky equipment. Another innovative technique used in the production of Cast a Giant Shadow was the use of front projection. This technique involved projecting pre-filmed backgrounds onto a screen in front of the actors, creating the illusion of a larger set. This allowed the production team to film complex scenes in a more controlled environment without the need for expensive and time-consuming set construction. Overall, the production of Cast a Giant Shadow was a complex and challenging endeavor. However, the use of innovative techniques and technologies, along with the meticulous attention to detail in set design and location selection, resulted in a film that accurately and authentically portrays the setting and events of the story. The 1966 movie Cast a Giant Shadow offers a compelling exploration of the complexities of war and human nature. While the film received mixed reviews, it is notable for its powerful performances and thought-provoking themes. John Wayne, despite not having top billing, delivers a strong and anchoring performance as the general. His portrayal serves as a reminder of the strength and determination that often drive men to fight, even in the face of overwhelming odds. The film is not about religion, right, wrong, good or bad, but rather about why men fight and the horrors they face in doing so. The film's director, Melville Shavelson, had a good idea for the story, but the execution was somewhat lacking. The action scenes in particular were not well done. For example, there's a scene where Frank Sinatra's character drops bottles of liquid on tanks to create noise, which comes off as unrealistic and contrived. Despite these shortcomings, the film boasts some strong performances from its talented cast. John Wayne, Yul Brynner, Kirk Douglas, and Frank Sinatra all deliver solid performances. However, Wayne's character is portrayed as being overly stubborn when he says God help them, because that's all the help they'll get from us, which may not sit well with some viewers. One of the few bright spots in the film is Elmer Bernstein's music score. Bernstein's score is one of his overlooked works, and deserves to be released on CD. Unfortunately, the rest of the film is pretty average, with the exception of the score. Overall, Cast a Giant Shadow is a thought-provoking film that explores the complexities of war and human nature. While it has its flaws, it is worth watching for the powerful performances and compelling themes. However, those looking for realistic action scenes may be disappointed. The 1966 movie Cast a Giant Shadow features a memorable score and soundtrack that significantly contribute to its narrative and emotional tone. The music, composed by Elmer Bernstein, is a blend of traditional Middle Eastern melodies and Western film score elements. This fusion creates a unique and captivating sound that complements the film's setting and storyline. Bernstein's score is rich and diverse, reflecting the movie's themes of cultural clashes, political intrigue, and personal struggles. The composer skillfully uses various musical instruments, such as the Oud, Uzaki, and Middle Eastern percussion, to create an authentic sound that resonates with the film's setting. The soundtrack also includes popular songs of the era, which add a layer of nostalgia and historical context to the movie. The creation of the film's music involved extensive research and collaboration with musicians and experts in Middle Eastern music. Bernstein worked closely with Israeli composer and musician Sasha Argov to ensure the authenticity of the Middle Eastern musical elements. Argov's expertise in Arabic and Jewish music significantly contributed to the score's rich cultural tapestry. The soundtrack also features performances by renowned musicians such as the Israeli singer and actress Yafa Yarkoni, who performed the movie's theme song Cast a Giant Shadow. Her powerful and emotive voice added depth and intensity to the song, which became a hit in Israel and beyond. The music in Cast a Giant Shadow is not merely a background element, but an integral part of the narrative and emotional tone. The score enhances the film's dramatic scenes 
underscores the character's emotions and provides a cultural and historical context. The soundtrack's fusion of Middle Eastern and Western musical elements reflects the movie's themes of cultural clashes and cooperation, making it a memorable and significant aspect of the film. Winston Churchill, a significant historical figure, held imperialist views and made comments on race that sparked controversy. He also approved of human rights abuses during the suppression of anti-imperialist movements seeking independence from the British Empire. Jeffrey Palmer, an accomplished actor, is the father of director Charlie Palmer and was once the ex-father-in-law of Claire Skinner. He and his son collaborated on the film The Clocks in 2009. Franklin D. Roosevelt, the 32nd President of the United States, had an older half-brother named James who was 28 years his senior. Unfortunately, they never had the chance to meet. In summary, these three men, despite their significant contributions and achievements, were not without controversy and complexities in their personal and public lives. One of the most iconic scenes in the 1966 movie Cast a Giant Shadow is the battle at Latrun. The scene is a textbook example of excellent direction, performance, and cinematography. The tension is palpable as the outnumbered and outgunned Israeli forces, led by Kirk Douglas's character, Colonel Mickey Marcus, prepare to defend the strategically important Latrun fortress. The camera work is outstanding, with sweeping shots of the battlefield that emphasize the vastness of the Israeli desert and the enormity of the task facing Marcus and his men. The use of close-ups and medium shots also highlights the individual bravery and determination of the soldiers, adding to the emotional impact of the scene. Kirk Douglas's performance in this scene is exceptional. He exudes a quiet confidence and determination that inspires his men and the audience. His delivery of the line were not alone. We have God on our side is particularly powerful and encapsulates the spirit of defiance and hope that runs throughout the movie. The impact of this scene on the audience is significant. It is a thrilling and exhilarating depiction of bravery and sacrifice that stays with the viewer long after the movie ends. The scene is also a powerful reminder of the real-life events that inspired the movie and the sacrifices made by so many in the fight for Israeli independence. Director Melville Shavelson spoke about the challenges of filming the battle scene, stating that it was a massive undertaking with hundreds of extras, explosions, and gunfire. He also praised Kirk Douglas's performance, saying that Kirk was magnificent in that scene. He brought a sense of gravitas and dignity that was essential for the character of Mickey Marcus. Cinematographer Fred Konekamp, who won an Academy Award for his work on the movie Patton, also spoke about the Latrone battle scene. He said, We wanted to create a sense of chaos and confusion, but also show the individual bravery and determination of the soldiers. It was a delicate balance, but I think we achieved it. Overall, the Latrone battle scene in Cast a Giant Shadow is a powerful and memorable moment in movie history. It is a testament to the skills of the director, actors, and cinematographer, and a reminder of the sacrifices made in the fight for Israeli independence. John Wayne in 1962 purchased a 135-foot yacht named the Wild Goose. He agreed to star in the 1964 film Circus World, a project he didn't particularly enjoy, to fund its voyage to Europe. Meanwhile, Kirk Douglas, an accomplished actor and producer, established Brina Productions in 1955, naming it after his mother. This move made him one of the first actors to start their own production company. In addition, after his son, Michael Douglas, was dismissed from the stage production of Summer Tree, Kirk bought the film rights to the story and gave it to Michael to star in. These actions demonstrate the dedication and support these Hollywood icons had for their craft and families. The 1966 movie, Cast a Giant Shadow, made a significant cultural and social impact. It was one of the first major Hollywood films to explore the complex history and politics of the Middle East, specifically the formation of the modern state of Israel. The film resonated with audiences as it presented a balanced view of the Arab-Israeli conflict, a topic that was highly controversial and relevant during that time. Cast a Giant Shadow introduced American audiences to the heroic tale of Mickey Marcus an American military officer who became the first modern general of the Israeli army. The film celebrated the diversity and inclusivity of the Israeli army, featuring a multinational cast, including actors from the United States, Israel, and Europe. This representation of unity and cooperation amidst conflict contributed to discussions on relevant social themes, such as immigration, identity, and cultural assimilation. Moreover, the film's influence on pop culture was evident in the popularity of its soundtrack, 
which featured traditional Israeli music and became a hit in the United States. The film also inspired a newfound interest in Israeli history and culture, leading to an increase in tourism to the region. In addition, Cast a Giant Shadow addressed the role of women in the military, with Ingrid Bergman's character, a British woman who plays a crucial role in the Israeli army's success. This portrayal challenged gender norms and contributed to discussions on women's rights and empowerment. Overall, Cast a Giant Shadow left an indelible mark on American and Israeli culture, shedding light on the complexities of the Middle East and contributing to important social and cultural discussions. In the 1960s, both Frank Sinatra and John Wayne made headlines for various reasons. Sinatra, while filming The Manchurian Candidate in 1962, permanently injured his finger during a fight scene with Henry Silva. The scene, featuring a karate chop that resulted in a broken finger, was left in the final cut. On the other hand, Wayne expressed his views on the homosexual themes present in Suddenly, last summer, and they came to Cordura in a 1960 interview, criticizing them. However, Wayne's agile wit and ability to handle derogatory questions with ease were showcased in 1974, when he accepted the Brass Balls Award from the Harvard Lampoon. Riding atop an armored personnel carrier manned by the Black Knights of Troop D 5th Regiment, Wayne won over the audience of students with his ad lib speech, despite the ongoing Vietnam War. The 1966 movie Cast a Giant Shadow received mixed reviews from critics. Kirk Douglas's performance as Colonel Mickey Marcus was generally praised, with the New York Times commending his buoyant and engaging portrayal. However, the film's historical accuracy was questioned by some reviewers, including the Washington Post, which criticized it for taking considerable liberties with history. Despite the mixed reviews, Cast a Giant Shadow was nominated for several awards. Kirk Douglas received a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor in a Motion Picture, Drama, and John Wayne was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor. The film was also nominated for the Golden Globe for Best Motion Picture, Drama. The nominations and awards for Cast a Giant Shadow were significant for those involved in the film, as they recognized their talent and hard work. Kirk Douglas's nomination, in particular, highlighted his ability to portray complex characters and his enduring status as a leading man in Hollywood. The film's nominations for Best Motion Picture and Best Supporting Actor also underscored the high quality of the production and the strong supporting performances. Overall, while Cast a Giant Shadow received mixed reviews from critics, its nominations and awards were a testament to the talent and dedication of those involved in the film. The accolades recognized the film's strengths, including its strong performances and production values, and helped to ensure its place in cinema history. John Wayne, known for his tough guy image, showed a different side in 1971 when he confronted anti-war demonstrators at Ronald Reagan's inauguration. His stepson, Ronald, had been killed in Vietnam in 1969, which likely fueled his anger towards the protesters carrying a Viet Cong flag. Within minutes, Wayne managed to lower the flag, demonstrating his influence and determination. Frank Sinatra, a renowned singer and actor, was also a successful businessman. At one point, he co-owned the Sands Hotel Casino in Las Vegas and the Cal Neva Lodge in Lake Tahoe. The latter was particularly unique as it was situated right on the California-Nevada borderline. Winston Churchill, a respected statesman and orator, held controversial views on eugenics in 1910. He advocated for labor camps and forced sterilization to deal with the mentally ill, which caused great controversy in light of Nazi eugenics. Despite his many accomplishments, this aspect of his beliefs left a dark mark on his legacy. In the heat of the California desert, the cast and crew of Cast a Giant Shadow worked tirelessly to bring the story of the 1948 Arab-Israeli War to the big screen. Kirk Douglas, who played Colonel Mickey Marcus, was known for his intense method acting. He even learned Hebrew for the role, and insisted on performing many of his own stunts. The film's director, Melville Shabelson, faced a unique challenge when it came to recreating the intense battle scenes. To ensure authenticity, he hired military advisors who had served in the Israeli army. These advisors not only trained the actors, but also helped design the battle scenes, using real military tactics and strategies. One of the most memorable scenes in the movie involves a daring nighttime raid on the Egyptian stronghold at Latrun. This scene was filmed over several nights, with the cast and crew working late into the night under the desert stars. The intense heat and swirling sand made conditions difficult, but the resulting scene is a thrilling testament to their hard work. 
Despite the challenges, the cast and crew formed a close-knit community. John Wayne, who had a small role in the film, was a particular favorite among the cast and crew. He was known for his humor and kindness, often going out of his way to boost morale on set. The film's leading lady, Angie Dickinson, also left a lasting impression. She was known for her professionalism and grace, and she quickly became a beloved member of the cast and crew. Cast a Giant Shadow was more than just a movie, it was a labor of love for all involved. The resulting film is a thrilling and moving tribute to the men and women who fought for Israel's independence. Frank Sinatra, born in 1915, was a talented singer who won an amateur contest and went on to become a vocalist for the Harry James and Tommy Dorsey bands. He later became a successful actor and producer. Topol, born in 1935, came from a humble background. His family of five shared a small, two-room flat with another family. His father was a plasterer and his mother a sewing machinist. Despite these challenging circumstances, Topol went on to become a successful actor best known for his role in the film Fiddler on the Roof. Yul Brynner, born in 1920, began his acting career in France and spoke fluent French. He later became a successful actor in Hollywood, known for his distinctive bald head and his iconic role in the film The King and I. Before becoming an actor, Brynner had a varied career, including working as a circus performer, a radio announcer, and a writer. The 1966 movie Cast a Giant Shadow holds a significant place in film history as it brought together a star-studded cast, including Kirk Douglas, John Wayne, and Frank Sinatra, to tell the story of Colonel Mickey Marcus, who became Israel's first modern general. The film's epic portrayal of historical events left an impact on future filmmaking, inspiring a wave of movies based on true stories and military history. Cast a Giant Shadow's innovative approach to blending drama, action, and historical accuracy captivated audiences and influenced filmmakers to create similar movies that delved into real-life events. The film's success demonstrated the potential for movies based on history to resonate with viewers and pave the way for a new genre of historical dramas. One notable film inspired by Cast a Giant Shadow is Ridley Scott's 2005 epic, Kingdom of Heaven, which explores the Crusades through the eyes of a blacksmith turned knight. Like Cast a Giant Shadow, Kingdom of Heaven boasts an all-star cast, and meticulously recreates the historical backdrop of the story. Additionally, Steven Spielberg's 1993 blockbuster, Stantler's List, shares similarities with Cast a Giant Shadow and its exploration of a historical figure's impact on a nation's formation. Both films underscore the power of individual actions in shaping history and the importance of remembering the past. In conclusion, Cast a Giant Shadow's legacy and influence can be seen in the numerous historical dramas it inspired as well as its role in shaping the genre of films based on true stories. The movie's enduring appeal and impact on future filmmaking serve as a testament to its significance in the world of cinema. John Wayne, a name frequently mentioned in songs, was baptized just two days before his death in 1979. This event, organized by his son Michael, took place at UCLA Medical Center, where Wayne was receiving treatment. Interestingly, Wayne's life was far from typical. As for Ayas of Stalin, his youth was marked by a near-death experience when he was struck by a carriage, leaving him with a permanently stiff left shoulder and an inability to use his left arm for the rest of his life. In 1936 and 1940, Franklin D. Roosevelt faced contrasting Republican opponents in terms of age. Alfred Landon, his adversary in 1936, lived for over half a century afterwards, passing away in 1987 at the age of 100. However, Wendell Wilkie, who ran against Roosevelt in 1940 died in October 1944 at the age of 52, before the end of the presidential term he sought. Interestingly, both of their running mates, Frank Knox and Charles L. McNary, had died earlier that same year. Winston Churchill expressed a different view on the abdication of King Edward VIII, also known as the Duke of Windsor, stating that it was premature and probably quite unnecessary. Frank Sinatra, a renowned figure in the entertainment industry, was posthumously inducted into the New Jersey Hall of Fame in 2008 during the inaugural election in recognition of his significant contributions to the field. If you have memories and experiences related to the 1966 movie Cast a Giant Shadow, please share them with us. This film has had a special place in the hearts of many cinema lovers, and we'd love to hear how it has affected you personally. Perhaps you were inspired by the story, the actors, or the filmmaking techniques used in Cast a Giant Shadow. 
Maybe you were reminded of your own experiences or memories from that time period. Whatever your connection to the film, we'd love to hear about it. By sharing your stories and engaging with our content, you can help create a vibrant community of film lovers. So, please don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more cinematic explorations. Together, we can celebrate the enduring power of cinema and the impact that films like Cast of Giant Shadow have had on our lives. So, let's hear your stories and memories. We can't wait to